Good evening, POP Kingdom Kids, and welcome to another week of at home Sunday school. Today I'm out here in my backyard, and we're going to teach you a lesson about Nehemiah. But as always, before we begin, let's go to the Lord, go to the Lord in prayer. Let's go ahead and bow our heads and close our eyes. Lord Jesus, thank you for another week. Thank you for the opportunity to learn more about you. I ask that you bless each and every one of these kids. Help them to learn through my lesson. In Jesus' name, amen. So this week, we have a special guest for the lesson. And so we have Pierce with us. So this week's lesson, I said it was talking about Nehemiah. So the Jews were hard at work rebuilding the wall. Trash and stones were everywhere, and families formed teams. Each team worked on a section of the wall. It was hard work. But as usual, trouble showed up. The trouble did not want the wall to be built. They wanted to control Jerusalem. So they started teasing the workers. Look at this little wobbly wall. What are you Jews doing, they would say. Who do you think you are? If a fox came and ran on top of this wall, it would fall to the ground. You might as well stop working. Nehemiah told the people, just keep working, ignore them. God will give us strength to finish the job. So the people kept working. But as bullies usually are, they don't stop. They threatened to bring swords and spears. They claimed they would attack Nehemiah and his workers. So Nehemiah prayed and encouraged the people. He told them to work with a tool in one hand and a weapon in the other. So he had some workers be guards to watch for the enemy. From sun up to past sundown, the people worked. They did not even stop to change clothes. The more the enemy tried to stop them, the harder they worked. Then, then the enemies tried to scare Nehemiah into hiding. But Nehemiah and the people did not stop working, even when the enemy made fun of them. The enemies were sure the people would stop working when they threatened the Israelites with weapons. But God gave people, the people strength even though the enemy was trying to stop them. And because of that, the people worked together and they rebuilt the wall in only 52 days. So kids, sometimes when we try to do things for God, there'll be people to discourage us and try to make fun of us. But if we pray and we talk to God about it, he'll give us strength to finish what he wants us to finish. So that's our week's lesson. So we'll join you for another week next week. Let's go ahead and pray. Lord, thank you for this lesson. Help us throughout the week to do what you would want us to do. In Jesus' name. Amen. All right, see you next week.